What, what's the mood like in that locker room after? And what's the main takeaway from you guys walking off that court today? Um, you know, we're, we're just upset, you know. We went out there and fought, but Iowa came out on top. You know, the wins and losses happened, but what we took away from today, we got to make foul shots, foul shots. We shot, I think, four for 12 from the foul line. You know, that's just unacceptable. You know, that's, you're not going to win a lot of basketball games like that. So it's on everybody in the locker room to keep getting better. You know, we're going to stick together through adversity, and we're just getting ready for Michigan State now. Gio, would you mind taking that too? Yeah, I mean, like like Ron said, um, you know, a lot of emotions in the locker room were definitely upset. Um, you know, we feel like definitely could have won the game, but you know, my takeaway from the game is that we can hang with anybody. You know, that's mm-hmm. a really good team. Um, you know, we felt like we should have won the game, so you know, we're a really good team too. So that's my takeaway from it. Thanks, guys. We'll go to Bobby and then Zach. Ron, this one's for you. Um, how was the ankle? I mean, how was it this week? What was it like having to sit out? And, and how do you feel after the game now? I'm good. You know, the ankle was just fine. You know, it, it was sore for a little bit when I sprained in. It was bruised a little bit. But, you know, it was a quick recovery. Just being out there watching the guys play against Purdue, you know, it, it feels so much different, the atmosphere on the bench, knowing you're not getting in compared to playing. But, you know, my ankle's good. I'm 100%. I'm ready to go whenever coach needs me. Zach, you have one? For, for either guy, they scored 30 points in the last nine minutes or so. Did did you think your defense maybe wasn't up to what it usually is, or was that just the fact that you're playing a really good team that just really executed? Um, I feel like it's, it's hard to tell in the moment. Um, you know, we have to watch the film. But, you know, we know that they're a really good team. I think they average like 90-some points, so. You know, we held them way below their average, so I feel like our defense was pretty good considering that. But um, in, in that span, you know, I got to watch the film. We got to watch the film and just learn from it. So I'm, I'm not really sure. I can't really answer that right now. We'll go to Steve Politi with the next question. Hey, J.O., you had a really nice uh, Twitter tribute to Kathy McAdam and said that she used to give you tips or notes after games. I mean, do you, can you just tell me about that? Yeah, I mean, just after every game, you know, it seemed like she just, you know, knew every single detail about the game. Um, you know, just a really sweet lady, you know, just a true fan. Um, you know, and she was there way before either of us were here. So, um, you know, she's seen the good times and the bad times. And, um, you know, yeah, just, just a really nice lady. You know, we're really going to miss her. And just as a follow-up, do you think this game might have been different if that building was packed today? Yeah, I mean, every game is going to be different with a packed gym. But, um, you know, basketball is fun. When we're, when we're in the swing of things in the game, you know, we – we're just thinking about basketball. We're not thinking about all that. But obviously, we miss the fans. And, um, you know, we wish that, you know, we could have the real rack here. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll go to Aaron Reitman and then Matt Manley. I uh, just wanted to ask either player just about uh, the performance that Dean Reber gave you off the bench and just what you've seen from him in terms of his development. Uh, Dean's grown a lot in these last couple of weeks, you know, with guys going down left and right, the next man mentality, you know, Dean took it personal and he's been getting in the gym. He's getting better and he's in the watching film. So can't really ask so much more for Dean today. He came in, and he fought with one of the best, if not the best center in college basketball and he held his ground and he held his own. And, you know, all the guys are proud of Dean and we know he's just going to keep working. You know, he got his opportunity and he ran with it. So we're all proud of him. Yeah, I feel like, Ron pretty much covered everything. I think he just has some confidence now. Um, you know, he's getting up and down. He feels good out there. Hey, guys, I got one for each of you. Um, Ron, I just wanted you to maybe reflect on your defense a little bit. Um, a lot's been made of how much you scored, but uh, that second half, and really throughout the game, you made a bunch of defensive plays while, you know, your shot wasn't falling. And then for Gio, um, just coach always talks about not you can't defend the free throw line and that you guys have to defend without fouling. Is there any frustration on your part that you're you're doing a good job, but the you know the whistle is the whistle? You want to go first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. In terms of the free throw line, that was one of our keys coming into the game. Um, you know, to win the free throw battle. Uh, obviously, we didn't today. Um, hard to defend the free throw line, but you know we just got to be better. You know, we got to be better with our own free throws, and uh, you know that's something that we're gonna work on. Just get better at it. Mm-hmm. You, you can you repeat my question, please? Yeah, I, yeah, Ron. I just wanted to uh, get your thoughts on what your defensive effort this year. A lot of people talk about how much you're scoring um, today. I thought the defense was kind of on display a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, you know, when you're out there and shots aren't really falling, you know, having an off day, stuff happens. So I was just out there trying to do whatever I could to help my team win, whether I was getting a rebound, getting a stop, a block. And, you know, we take pride on defense. You know, Rutgers defense, we take it very personally. We're just going to keep getting better. But like I said, when shots aren't falling, you know, basketball is a complete game. I can't only play one half of the floor. So, yeah. We're going to go back to Jerry Carino. Yeah, guys, either one of you can take this. What was it like having Caleb uh, McConnell back out there today? I'm sure you felt good for him. Yeah, it was, it was great having Caleb back. You know, this is a guy who's battled injuries since he's been here. He's fought hard, you know, through the tough times. He made it out. He's sort of light at the end of the tunnel. You know, when he checked into the game today, I think that was one of the greatest moments of his life. You know, he's real happy. He told me he, he misses playing with us. And, you know, he tells me that like every day. And today he got to play with us. So I was just real happy to have Caleb out there. You know what? We're just real proud of him getting back. Uh, same same thing that Ron said. Uh, you know, it's just good having your brother back out there on the court. Um, Caleb was really excited to play. You know, just trying to do all the little things to help us win. And you know, he's going to give us um more depth. You know, and just another dynamic. So it's going to help us a lot in the future. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll let the players go on that. Appreciate. It.